Hello everyone, this is me, Satya here, and I'm back with another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Cancer. Topic of the reading is, will you end up with the one you love, yes or no? If there is a specific someone that you really, truly, truly, truly love, and you really want to know if you are going to end up with that person or not, this reading will help you know that. I will be adding oracle guidance as well in this reading for you, so stay tuned, and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For present reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So, Cancer, let's see, will you end up with the one that you love? Yes or no? Let's begin. Ten of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Under the deck, we do have King of Cups. I really feel like you know there is a strong potential in you ending up with this person, whoever it is that you truly love. I really feel like you know for, for majority of you, the path is not going to be easy, but yes, uh, things will work out. Eventually, you will get the happiness that you want, that you desire with this person. Um, I feel like you know even now too, the situation could seem kind of like you know. Um, troublesome for some of you probably because uh, because they are not you know um probably there are some certain circumstantial issues which you you could be having right now which is uh, making you feel like probably it's never going to happen but um i really feel like you know the love is so strong here that things will work out like you know your love is going to win over all the obstacles that you probably would be dealing with right now in the given situation uh, but i feel like you know there will be um a lot of um struggle though and um but at the same time i really feel you feel, feel you both are dedicated towards you know getting married to each other getting settled down with each other so you will be able to find ways to do so so i really feel like yes the one that you truly love yes you will end up with that person but it's it's not going to be an easy journey especially because uh, because of your lack of faith in the situation you will always have your doubts, you will always have your fears, you will always have your concerns, like probably this is going to stop it, probably that is going to stop it, uh, which is which is why things are not going to be easy, but I really feel like, you know, there is a strong potential in this connection going next level. Uh, let's see more cards here. <clears throat> I feel like, you know, for majority of you, your person is going to take time to kind of like, you know, um, to be mature enough to deal with the situation the right way. Probably they, they have feelings, love for you, but they intend to get married to you as well, but at the same time, maybe they are, they, there are delays coming from their end, which is the reason why you start feeling neglected or kind of like, you know, start feeling worried about it because you feel like, what if it never happens? So there is lack of faith, there is disappointment, there is like a feeling that, um, you know, probably nothing will work out. So there is like, you know, you, you start losing faith. You start feeling, um, you know, anxiety around it. So I feel like that's what is uh, the issue here for 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 majority of you. If there are delays in your love life, it's all because of the way you are taking these issues or these delays. Um, I feel like you know, if you could start staying uh, strong, if you could start staying positive, if you could kind of like you know have faith. Things will work quicker. I feel like, you know, for majority of you, you start doubting your person's uh, intentions as well, which is why things get messier. I feel like, you know, it's very important for you to know that whatever you desire will happen. But for that to happen, you have to kind of like, you know, stop stressing yourself out. Now, for some of you, probably you are stressing yourself out by putting extra effort into the connection. Probably you feel like, you know, if you are going to do this, only then there is a chance of a, you know, connection going next level but again it's probably you're just stressing yourself out so if there are th certain things that you're doing uh which which is more like overdoing i would say um i feel like you got to stop doing that because i feel like you know, it's more about your faith it's more about what you what you believe in uh and if you start believing this stronger uh, that that the fear that you have probably it's not gonna work out trust me you will have more delays I really see still the things are going to go next level with this person you will end up with this person but at the same time the delays will be getting stronger and stronger so you, you will have more delays I would say so try to kind of like you know um, stop being fearful around it start believing that it's gonna happen and then allow the divine to take care of the rest for majority of you what I see here is 
you start stressing, you start feeling bad around the current situation, you start feeling disappointed, you start feeling like, you know, probably it's never going to happen. So you see your dream desire around it crashing. And when that happens, you start feeling even further more negative around it. So that's something that you really have to change to have what you truly desire. Uh, let's see what else the, di the, the divine really want to add to the read. Let's see what the divine message is for you in the given situation. If you want to end up with the one that you love, what shall you be doing right now? What is it that you really need to do? What is the oracle guidance right now for you in that situation? Light, the fairy queen of light, comes to shed love and light onto your current situation to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. So the divine really wants you to look at the brighter side, look at the lighter side. Um, and I feel like you know, the more you take stress, the, the things are going to be like getting harder. If you start taking things lightly and you start feeling good about it and you start having faith around it, the faith is going to shine the light on your current situation and things will start getting moving, uh, you know, uh, start moving forward. And, um, uh, you know, that's that's something which is missing right now. You're feeling the um, you're, you're feeling or thinking or focused on the wrong side of the story right now. The delays, delays, delays. Why this? Why that? Stop being on that side. Let's see more oracle guidance here. Come together. Fairies like to be busy and a group of them is... Uh, showing you that many hands make the light work working as a team helps get the job done now for <clears throat> for majority of you if you start working with the you know uh, start working towards manifesting your goal desire with your person uh, with the help of divine i feel like you know your your desire is going to come to uh, fruition quicker than you know quicker than you think so yeah let's uh, pull out some more oracle guidance here let's see what else do we have <clears throat> Be bold and make the first move. Communication is the key. Your commitment is being tested. I mean, the deck you do have, what do you need to release? I feel like, you know, um, the first move that you have to make on your part is switching your thoughts. And allow the communication to be crystal clear around the whole situation. And make your self-talk as well very crystal, uh, crystal clear around what do you desire because I feel like in for majority of you what you do is um, I, I really don't think it's more about you taking action towards the other person or you taking uh, you know uh, some initiative towards them it's more about you taking the initiative and you deciding for yourself that you're never gonna have that negative thought again one thing secondly you allow the communication with yourself which is in alignment with what you desire stop having negative self-talk thirdly I feel like you know your commitment is being tested do you really want this connection to work because if you do, you have to have faith. If you don't have faith, what's the point kind of like, you know, um, staying in that situation where you're feeling pain, suffering and everything. So it's very important right now for, to, for you to kind of let go of the pain and suffering, release the negativity that you are having around the whole situation and see your love life moving ahead with this person. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.